Hey there, beer tube. Welcome back. It's Sean, aka that nerd kid ugly. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. It's a hazy Sunday, boys and girls. Today I have Prison City's Brewing, Prison City Brewing's Double Dry Hopped Mass Riot. This is a New England IPA coming at 6.8% alcohol. Um, I don't see any IBUs on the can anywhere. And this is about three weeks old at the time of this recording. Um, canned 1231, 20, or 123022. So about a week shy, about three weeks. Brewed and canned in Albany, New York. Citra, Mosaic, and Simcoe. New England Pale Ale. A double dry hop version of our award winning hazy IPA. Brewed with Citra, Mosaic, and Simcoe hops. Um, the place I was at had um their their riot which is just the original not the double just a single um and that was already about a month old so i picked this one up instead i'll admit it um plus i'm more of a fan of double dry hopped than i am of a single if i'm gonna do an ipa so i figured why not and this is the first one i've had from these guys they're about an hour and a half away from me but I've just never had a chance to visit them yet. So I do plan on making my chance to try them out at some point in time. And then got my Roscoe brew house glass. Cracker open. Pop some tin as some people say. Label out. We got a pour. Oh yeah. yeah. It's definitely got that hazy body to it. Light golden. Not quite pineapple juice looking. I think it's a little too dark for a good pineapple juice. Um, About two and a half. I want to say two and a half fingers of foam white head it's a little too dark for pineapple juice but a little too light for like a orange juice not quite a lemonade almost like a dirty dirty dishwater kind of look oh right, those citrus were right there You get that smooth citrus. You kind of get that soft oatiness. That's that's the way best way I can like. It's almost like a. I don't know. It's almost like that powdery taste that you would get from the oats or the flowers that they put into it. It's almost it equates that into a smell. It's almost like that soft powdery smell. A little bit of citrus. Not quite orange juice, but definitely like mandarin. Not mandarin. What the hell am I saying? Oh. Almost like tangerine. Isn't there an M1? I don't know. I'm drawing blanks today. Yeah, you definitely get that citrus. That soft softness to the smell also. Not much floral on the nose or anything. Yeah, that smells good. It looks good. It's got an amazing head that is sticking around pretty good. It's smooth. You definitely get that citro. You get that creamy oat that they put into their New England. Tiny bit of bitter. Not not a strong bitter at all. Not super juicy, but there's a little bit of juice there. So, mandarins. Mandarins. Not mandarin. I can't get it. I'm sorry. I'm drawing a blank on it. It's bugging me. You definitely get that citrus, tangerine, kind of orange. I 
grapefruity. It's very grapefruity. Yeah, this is good. At 6.8, it's not overpowering. Um, you do get like a little bit of alcohol dry bite on the back tongue. This is a fantastic beer. Um, I've heard good things about these guys. Like I said, I never had a chance to try them. I could see the light behind them. It's definitely a delicious, refined double IPA, double New England IPA. They definitely have it zoned in. Um, yeah. Give this a four out of five. This is really good. Back of the throat's getting a little more dry now. Don't forget that citrus. Grapefruity. A little bit of floral going on in there. Um, tiny bit of pine, too. This is good. It's, it's definitely got that New England with like a little bit of more traditional thrown in there. I think it's a fantastic double IPA. Fantastic New England. Just another one for the Hayes boys. Four out of five. Till next time. Thank you for watching. Cheers.